Now these particular bolts will be torqued anywhere from 45 to 55 pounds depending on the kind of bolt you're using and the year and make it the vehicle you were working on. So you should always look at that. Go by the book on your torque specifications. So now that we've got that put on, I'm going to go ahead and test crank this engine again, which is something we're going to do again and again. Every time we put a new part on, we're going to crank this engine over and make sure nothing's binding up. So we've got one piston in, tight down, halfway. I've got this thing tightened. So everything's snug, but just not torqued yet. So look, it still turns very easy. I can still almost turn it with one finger. That's great. We're going to go ahead and install the rest of the pistons, number two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we'll come back. I'll uh, go ahead and show you how to put number eight in, and I'll go ahead and go through the torque sequences with you, show you how to do that. I've gone ahead and installed all the pistons and cylinders number one through seven so far. And remember, each time you install a piston, give it a good test spin and make sure everything's feeling smooth and nothing's binding up. So far, everything's done well here. We're going to install the number eight piston now. And we'll go ahead and torque them all down. So we'll go ahead and go through all the procedure once again. Okay, we've got our piston here. Remember to line up your piston rings with the gaps 180 degrees away from each other. It's first ring and second ring. Just like that. See how we got the gap there versus the gap over here. All right. We're going to put some assembly lube on this piston. And one thing I failed to mention before is I like to try to pour a little bit extra oil in that oil ring gap. Get that thing filled up. That'll help out a lot when you first start it up. But make sure you get all the aluminum stuff wet. That's the most important thing. You don't want any metal to metal contact in this thing when you put it together. Fill up that oil ring. Get the whole thing lubricated here. Okay, and just double check your ring gaps because I moved it a little bit by accident. All right, piston ring tool. Uh, once again, remember, check your piston for the mark which points the piston forward. Um, on this particular engine, I'm going to mount this one like that. This is the forward part of the piston. This is the forward end of the engine. Okay, put our tool on here. Go ahead and guide this in, like so. Get the piston started in there. Eyeball the end of the bearing end of your rod and make sure it looks like it's going to be straight going on that crankshaft. Hold your piston ring tool firmly and just tap it in. It goes in smoothly, just like so. No problem at all. I'm going to go ahead and tap this in now. I went ahead and moved the camera to give you a little better angle to see what we're doing here. As you can see, I've got that piston halfway in. Um, everything's lining up fine. I can wiggle it side to side and up and down. So that means nothing's binding up. We're just going to continue tapping this piston in as we guide that rod bearing in around the crankshaft. Just want to be gentle on this part because you don't want to scratch the crankshaft while you're putting this on. Until the bottom's out and the bottom down. Just make sure you put a good amount of assembly lube on that bearing and on the crankshaft when you, before you put that in. I've already got my bearing cap here ready to go. Cleaned up and put a new bearing on it. Put a little assembly lube on. Remember, line up your notches. These lock tabs will go tab to tab. One tab here, the other tab on the rod will be lined up with that one. So that's easy reminder. I'm going to go ahead and put that on like so. Sometimes you have to actually tap it a little bit with a hammer, which wouldn't hurt anything, but don't really want to pat the sound on it. And once again, we're going to put a drop of Loctite on the threads. Just for added safety. Don't really need to put a lot, just enough to coat the first few rows of threads will be fine. 
go ahead and get our net started on here. Remember, you always want to tighten these on evenly because you don't want to get these bearings cockeyed in there. They should sit right where you put them. Alright, now I've got all of these snug all the way across. We're going to go ahead and torque them down now. That Loctite usually takes about 30 minutes to set up, so if you do this all in one span, um, you can go ahead and torque them all at once. If you go ahead and do two at a time, you can torque them two at a time. But I always recommend double check all of them when you're done. Okay. So we're going to start at the front of the motor on number one here and get them torqued down. These particular bolts and rods are going to be torqued at uh, 50 pounds, I believe it was, because they're heavy duty bolts. I set the torque wrench at 50 pounds. Connecting rod bolts are hardened lock nuts and hardened bolts. and they're going to be a higher torque specification than normal, which would be 50 to 60 pounds. But again, always check your service manual according to your engine. That's going to be different from engine to engine. But this particular one, we're going to torque these down to 50 pounds of torque. Okay? So we're going to start with piston number one. I like to go and like half, just by feel, halfway tighten and then torque it. You hear the wrench click? That's tight enough. That's right at 50 pounds. We'll go again here on the number two. Just tighten them a little bit. And go back, torque it. Go back, torque it. That's fine. Rotate the engine. Everything works fine. We're going to do the next two, which is pistons three and four. Six. Seven and eight. And again, we're going to go ahead and double check all these one more time just to be safe. Alright, that does it for that. Now we know we've got all our main bearings on correctly and torqued correctly because we double checked them. Put all our pistons in correctly, torqued them correctly because we also double checked those. We put Loctite on all our threads on our rod bolts and pre-lubricated all the parts as we put them on so everything's going great here. Next thing we're going to do is put in the cam, the timing chain and the oil pump will be the final thing on the bottom end.